Hey, welcome back students. We want to go ahead and turn our attention now to Charles Law and conducting some of those calculations. We do have a problem here set up for us already and so let's go ahead and identify the problem and identify the different parts for all the variables in this one. We do have a system that has an initial temperature of 9.18 degrees Celsius with an unknown volume and when the temperature changes to 433 Kelvin the volume is found to be 7,630 milliliters. And the problem is asking us, what is the original volume in milliliters? So let's go ahead and identify all the parts. So we know that the initial temperature is 9.81, 9.18 degrees Celsius. We do have an unknown volume at the very beginning, so that's our V1. And our temperature does change, so this is our T2, 433. And our V2, the volume that results from this is 7,630. So let's go ahead and identify these just in general. And so our V1 is equal to unknown. Our T1 is equal to 9.18 degrees Celsius. Now keep in mind we need to convert this to Kelvin, so we do need to add 273. So we're going to do plus 273. And that will give us a Kelvin number. And when we do that, let's just go ahead and take care of it now so we don't have to come back later. So 9.18 plus 273 gives us 282.18. And so let me just go ahead and erase that right now and get it out of the way. And so we're going to put 282.18 Kelvin. And then our V2 we find to be here 7630 milliliters. And then our T2 is equal to 433 Kelvin. Now we have everything we need to solve this problem, so we're just going to go ahead and plug everything into the actual equation. And the actual equation we're using here today is V1 divided by T1 is equal to V2 divided by T2. Since everything's already been converted to the units that we need, I'm just going to go ahead and erase and put the numbers that we have into the appropriate spot. So our V1 is an unknown, so we're going to leave that alone. But our T1, we can go ahead and erase and put in the actual number. And so the actual number we have for temp temperature 1 is 282.18 Kelvin. We'll do the same thing for the V2. And our V2 we determine to be, according to what the problem is telling us, it's 7630 milliliters. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and replace T2. Our T2 is also given to us, and that is 433 Kelvin. And so what we want to go ahead and do here is we just want to go ahead and divide the right side, and then we're going to deal with the left. So let's go ahead and do this. We know that we're going to get V1 divided by 282.18 Kelvin on the left-hand side. And this is going to be equal to whatever we get when we divide 7,630 and we divide that by 433. And that answer is actually equal to 17.62, and this is going to be milliliters Kelvin. Okay, so let me just write that a little bit less messy. And so we'll just put here a Kelvin. Okay? And now notice on the right hand side, or excuse me, on the left hand side, we have V1 being divided by 282. What we want to do is we want to get V1 by itself. And in order for us to do that, we do need to multiply the left-hand side of the equation by 282.1. And when we do that, that 282 is going to actually be canceled. So we're going to go ahead and do this here. 282.17. And that cancels on the left-hand side. And whatever we do to the left, we have to do to the right side. And so we'll go ahead and multiply on the other side, 282.17. And remember the units here are Kelvin. And so if we do that, the Kelvin units cancel, and then we're left with V1 equals to the product of 17.62 times 282.17, and that answer will be in milliliters, so we're going to multiply that now. So 282.17 multiplied by 17.62 will give us the following volume, 4,972.2 milliliters. And this here is the original volume for this problem. 